Thursday, June 24th. It seems like it's going to be a three-way co fight. Contest. Contest mm -hmm. for the by-election July 25th for constituency six. Mm -hmm. It's clear now who is who. Uh, yes, uh, today the picture is complete mm -hmm. after the uh, news politic party decided to fill uh, General Gittisak Ratbrasar mm -hmm. as a candidate. Mm -hmm. General Gittisak is an old hand of the PAD, right? Yes, uh, actually he's a classic party hopper. <laughs> From where to where? <laughs> I got some information here. Um, starting in 1990, he, uh, he joined the then um, Kalang Tam Party yes. as a so-called political engineer. Yes. Yes. And then five years later, he ran as an election candidate for the Democrat Party. Yes. And then uh, in 2002, he became Secretary General of the NAP, New Aspiration Party. Yes. So and he's been everywhere. He's been everywhere. And in 2005, <laughs> he became um, uh, advisor to the uh, Dr. Gun Thai party. Wow, that's a new party. And then he time. came back to the Democrat party in 2007. Uh -huh. And then he joined the New Politics Party in 2009. And yes. he declared that it would be my last party. <laughs> last party. He liked it because he said it's a, it's a bottom-up party. Mm -hmm. It's a party that is run from the bottom-up. So now we see the Democrat fielding uh, Panit Wikitsay, yes. Vice Minister of Foreign Affairs. Yes. The Pua Thai Party has decided on Gorgel, Pikun Tong, Pikun Tong mm -hmm. uh, red shirt uh, activist, right. who is also under the charge of terrorism, right? Mm -hmm. And now he's been out on bail? Uh, he would be allowed to, um, to be free for one day to register for the candidates, yes. and then I think we have, he, he would have to go back into uh, behind bars again. And then how can he campaign? Um, and that that will depend on how how his uh, his legal team is gonna move. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. um, we understand that he uh, today decision is for him to register mm -hmm. his candidacy only. Mm -hmm. Would this be a contest between the yellow shirts and the red shirts once again? Uh, that's the main issue. I think uh, the outcome of this election could 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 depend largely on how this uh, campaign will yeah. pan out. Right. So this is. If, if it's going to be a government against the red shirt or a, a government against the Pura Thai party, then the new political party will be, can be the dark horse. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. can come and then steal, steal the, show. the victory. Yes, yes. Steal the show. But if this thing pans out to be a government against the new, uh, the new politics party, yes. the first test of their um, overlapping mm -hmm. um, strongholds, yes. then the uh, Pura Thai party can be the dark horse. Yeah, that is quite intriguing because yes. mm -hmm. it's going to be two against one or one against and two. 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 And who against who? And who against who? And if it pans out to be uh, new politics against Pura Thai, then yeah. the Democrat can be the dark horse uh, in yes. this case. Well, looking at the traditional stronghold, the Democrat has the advantage in yes. Constituency 6. As we uh, discussed yesterday, it used to be uh, a stronghold of the Pura Thai Party or yes. the People Power Party. Yes. Until the last uh, election, mm -hmm. when, when the anti um, Pura Thai sentiment mm -hmm. allowed the Democrat to win. That's right. In, in Bangkok. That's right. Mm -hmm. Then, but Tiwang and Yong, who died uh, and paving the way for this by election, won the election after he had lost in the same constituency. Exactly. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. So now it's, you know. Not certain who not is certain. really in charge. Yes, it's, uh, it's interesting. This is not a big fight like uh, it's not a Spain, a Germany, or Argentina <laughs> in, in this contest. But it's still like uh, we have USA, we have Japan, and we have yeah. uh, what uh, else? Um, Denmark <laughs> in this contest. So it's still very interesting. Yeah, so it's going to be a three way contest that will really prove to be quite exciting depending on how the campaigns will be carried out how the mood of the Bangkok people, especially in Constituency 6, will uh, look at this uh, election. What kind of contest do they see? If you cast the ballot, before you cast the ballot, you have to decide whether this is a fight between the yellow shirt and the red shirt, or is it be between the Democrats against the yellow shirt, mm -hmm. or is it be against between the Democrats against, the red, against the red shirt. So now, it all depends on several factors and every single voter 
will decide that for himself or herself.